Hi everyone, it's Bongo here from the Poultry People and something a bit different today. I'm going to make some pin leg tables out of this fat old water pipe. And I'm going to bend it in half and I'm going to weld it to a piece of plate. And one of the problems I've been having with a big round bar like this is it's been getting flattened uh, on the bend there because it just, just doesn't form right. Now apparently if you use sand and water and pack it, pack it in, it's not going to bend. So I've got some tape here. I'm not too sure what kind of tape it is. It's like a cloth woven based tape. You can seal the end like that. And apparently you can you fill it with, with water and sand and it just doesn't compress, does it Mr. Butters? Nice and tight. Nice and tight, Mr. Butters. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, ordinary tap water. Not, not that much. I thought it was going to take a lot of water, but it didn't. down to the beach and I got some sand it's beach sand so it's gonna have salts and stuff in it so it's important that I wash it out thoroughly after I'm done or they'll corrode it let's get this a bit closer and see what's going on I'm quite lucky the beach is only 10 miles from here it's not too too far to go and it's when you live in, in the rural rural just like this, ten miles is how far you go to buy milk. Sand of course heavy than water, so it just sinks to the bottom and pushes the water out. So you might not use this information but at least you know to pass it on to people who do uh, about bending pipe did you, did you pack it with water and sand well that's if it works Yes, pin leg tables, but really, really chunky, not being pins, more, more pipes as such, just to have a bit of a different, chunkier look. And of course, I'm just using what I've got. I'm not uh, having to go out and buy anything. I've got some of this water pipe left. I've, hopefully, I've got enough. I think I'm nearly there. solid okay so let's clean that off get it all nice and dry what's going on Mr. Butters? A butter butters a butter 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 butters a butter butters I like the winger I like the winger I like the winter and the summer I like the winger your ass away from my work. Fuck off. This tape does not like sticking to wet metal. Should have dried it off a bit more, maybe with paper towels next time. I've got another two to do, so I might very well use paper towels 
on the next ones. Getcha. Or I might try silver aluminium tape. That might be okay. Maybe a little bit of a leak coming out of it. We'll see how it goes. Let's take it over. Seal both ends now. Okay, I can't do this whole phone. Right, I think I've come to the RAM's total limit. Let's have a look. That is not bad at all. And it's, it's flattened it out a touch, but nowhere near as much as I was getting back in the day. And there'd be visible kinks in it as well, in the uh, bending of it. That's pretty good. I think we're onto a bit of a winner. If you want to bend pipe without distorting the shape, I mean, that's really, that's quite nice, it's good flows and I can't feel any kinks in there tape on end water then sand right I'll need to take these out and empty it and do another two right okay what else can I tell you right let's try it with some uh, this is what mammoth tape aluminium Aluminium sticky back safe, we'll give this a go. What's going on, Mr. Butters? Well, it's not pouring at the bottom, so that's a good sign. well it's sticking fairly well to its side it's it's surprisingly heavy mr butters when it's uh, full of sand and water did you get me on that mr butters mr butter mr butter mr butters mr butters but 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 moment that's under it's an incredible amount of pressure it's uh 15 tons you really need to make sure that if you're using this sort of stuff there's nobody in front of it okay and you, you're quite aware that your bolts and stuff are all in place and it's all flush and together because when you're talking 15 tons of compressed steel that comes flying off or does anything odd 
it's gonna hurt. Hits you around the head, you're gonna die. Hits somebody else around the head, perhaps you know. Well, let's not be all over you. melodramatic internet style here. But if it did fail and hit someone in the head, probably quite a serious head injury. Definitely a you know bit of concussion, cut open, something like that. Worst case scenario, yeah, you're brown bread. So, you know, take, take precautions when you're using it. Using one, because there's, there's a lot of pressure going on. Look at that. All in all, for a first attempt at using the method of sand and water, it turned out really well. I did get some kinking on one of them, you can see, see there, and they didn't flatten out like they have been doing in the past. They kept the shape fairly well. I'm really happy actually with how they turned out, and they're going to look really nice on this table I've been working on. Alright, hope that's been of help. Thank you very much for watching. Crack on and make something.